Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. Let us solve today's TC using C programming language. We have to implement the function add subtract. It accepts a string as argument. The function add and subtract the integers alternatively in the string. And finally we have to return the total of the calculation done by the function. So let us now consider for our test case for better understanding. So this is our first test case. So in this test case, we can say that the integers are inside the bracket. So if they come out of the bracket means it will become the first integer is minus 5. So minus 5 plus 10. So 10, 3 and 9. And the function add and subtract integers alternatively in the string. So we have to add and subtract the integers alternatively. So minus 5 and the next integer will be minus 5 plus 10 and which is nothing but 5 and the next one will be 5 minus 3. So here minus 5 minus 3. So the integers are minus 5 plus 10 minus 3 and plus 9. So 5 minus 3 is 2 and 2 plus 9 which is 11. So it will be printed as our output. This will be our required output. Now let us consider for our next test case. So in this test case, the integers are inside the bracket. The integers are 1, 2 and 3. So if they come out of the bracket means 1, 2 and 3. So first let us, we have to add it 1 plus 2 minus 3. So the first integer is 1 and the next integer is 1 plus 2, which is nothing but 3. And the next integer is 3 minus 3, which is equal to 0. So, 0 will be printed as a required output. Now, let us implement our logic using C programming language. This is our main function. Here, we are having a character str of size 1001 and we are getting the string as input. And in the printf, we are passing our function add subtract of str. So, we have to define this function. So, we have to define add subtract function. The arguments are character star pointer of string and we have to include a header file string.h. So, first let us declare a character array named num of size 101 and let us initialize int num index to 0 and sum sum comma and an integer array of size 1001 comma array index to 0 so we are initializing this and all and let us iterate over the for loop for ctr in range which ranges from int ctr equal to 0 comma ctr less than str len of str comma ctr plus plus so inside this for loop now let us pass our conditions if if str of ctr not equal to open bracket and str of ctr not equal to close bracket so if this condition passes then we have to increment 
that is num of num index plus plus to C str of ctr. And elif part we will pass our another condition if str of ctr equal to equal to close bracket means num of let us copy num of num index equal to slash zero that is last then array of array index plus plus equal to auto of num so this function will convert it to integer so that we are using auto function auto of num and then num of zero which is equal to slash zero and num of index will be assigned to zero so in the elif part we will be passing these conditions and outside this elif if uh, sum of uh, outside this elif let us uh, initialize a variable sum which is equal to array of zero so now let us iterate over the for loop for ctr which ranges from 1 to ctr less than arr of index less than ctr plus plus and let us pass our conditions here if ctr modulo 2 sum equal to i modulo 2 question mark sum plus plus sum plus array colon sum minus array this is a ternary operator we can also use if else condition and finally we have to return the sum so if we if you are confused in this statement we can use if else here so if ctr modulo 2 condition passes means we will be doing sum plus equal to error of ctr and in the else part we will be doing sum minus equal to error of ctr so this is the add subtract function finally we are returning the sum and printing our output